Netherrealm's next studio game, could be Mortal Kombat 12 or Injustice 3. But what do we expect from this popular game if the first option occurs? Before we start the video, make sure you subscribe the channel, and to support me, please like the video, it only takes you 5 seconds, but it's worth a lot to me. Nether Realm Studios is a master at making fighting games. If we look at the best fighting games in history, we'll definitely see a lot of titles from this studio. Mortal Kombat and Injustice, despite their similarities, differ in their mechanisms, since Mortal Kombat is more arcade and popular, certainly a high percentage of gamers would like the next title of this studio to be Mortal Kombat 12. Mortal Kombat series major games have never experienced big weaknesses and heavy defeats. That's why if we want to write our wish list of features in the 12th edition of this series, we'll probably mention things that were already in this franchise and are now forgotten by the creators, or their additions are not very remote and unreasonable. In fact, we love this series as it is, and we don't want to go too far from its roots, and the expectations of fundamental change don't go away. One of the most important changes expected by Mortal Kombat fans for the 12th edition is a change in gameplay. Gameplay for a fighting game is definitely the most important part, and much more comes to the eye of gamers than graphics and other elements. Fans of the series like the gameplay of the 12th edition, a combination of Mortal Kombat X and Mortal Kombat 11 mechanisms. We expect launcher or starter combos to be similar to the 10th version in the game, and we've had more diverse combos. In the 10th edition of the starting combo, which could have been the starter of a long combos by the gamer, it was abundantly found, but unfortunately this was almost forgotten in the 11th edition, and we only saw combos that only knocked down the opponent, and you could no longer enter another combo quickly. For example, the Robocap character in Mortal Kombat 11 has a combo called Blowing Crush, but hitting this combo only throws the opponent to the ground instead of throwing the opponent upwards and starting a combo. This was quite the opposite in the 10th edition, and we saw three types of starter combos for each play style for each character. The winner of the fighting games compared to each other is the diversity in the combos, or the so-called better, freedom of the gamer in performing diverse movements. That when you hold the controller and start fighting a character, don't be limited to hitting certain buttons, know the fighting style of that character, and by knowing the keys and the main combos of that character, you can perform a variety of movements. Unfortunately, the creators in the 11th edition have forgotten this principle, and in order to be able to perform a basic combo or some ordinary movement with your character, you were limited to running a particular combo. Scarlet's character, for example, has only one launcher combo since the game beta, which is really for such an bad, low-level game. The Fatal Blow or X-Ray system in Mortal Kombat 11 was well implemented. Instead of having to fill all three of your tapes like Mortal Kombat X to run a Fatal Blow and face an empty bar after running, you could run your Fatal Blow by filling in just one bar or 33% of your overall bar. This case made the struggles more diverse, violent and, most importantly, more unexpected. Of course, changes should also be made to this system. Fatal Blows should be disposed of more than ever with block. Many fatal blows in the previous version were very, very few times defensible by blocking, and almost if the opponent's shot hit you, there were few steps you could take to eliminate the effect. If there is the first system in Mortal Kombat 12 and we only see fatal blows blockable, many fans will be satisfied. The return of the running button will be pleasant for many. When there's a button to run, it makes the game more fun, the game gets faster and the characters move more diverse. So the return of running characters can help the fun part of the game, the breakaway system should also be modified in the next version, but why? If you are not familiar with the term breakaway, I must say that this mechanism allows an opponent who is being beaten to get rid of the burden of your combos in exchange for taking two defensive strips. The system had run well in Injustice, but had problems with Mortal Kombat 11. The most important problem of this system in the 11th version was the punishment of the attacker in exchange for breakaway off the opponent. That is, you will be punished because you have attacked your opponent and your opponent has escaped from the burden of your combos alone. Given that most combos have the ability to break away, this system scares attackers and tends to defend opponents, which really ruins the gameplay. There is no such case in Mortal Kombat X Game Breaker system and we hope the Breaker system in Mortal Kombat 12 is the same as the 10th version and do not get hit because of the opponent's escape. Some fans also demand that the tapes be made by themselves instead of already existing and only with actions from the gamer, such as the 10th version. Of course, the fact that these tapes were already on the MK11 and you just had to fill them had made the game fairer, but to build these tapes with effort and skill and gradually increase your comboing capabilities during the fight, had increased skill gap in the 10th version and made the game more skill-driven. 
If in Mortal Kombat 12 this tape system is implemented fairly, it would be really great. Another case of gameplay, which also relates to tapes, is the return of Universal Bar and Block Breaker. Instead of facing two different triplets for attack and defense, it's much better if there's a third or fourth overall bar like Injustice. Much better. It also makes the game much more skill-driven and fairer if Block Breaker returns and only has one bar. In this case, you no longer have to burn two tapes to break, and when your tape is empty, the opponent will run the same combo on you again. With a Block Breaker bar, you can break the combos more quickly at the right time. If such changes are implemented in Mortal Kombat 12 gameplay, we will definitely have a Mortal Kombat or, better yet, a very flawless and perhaps perfect fighting game. Implementing these changes in Mortal Kombat 12 gameplay will mean the full maturity of the series will become more skill-driven, more professional and better played, making it the version that fans of the series are expecting. Running back. Keeping the Fatal Blow system similarly with minor changes, returning breakers from the 10th edition, returning universal meter and block breaker, making tapes instead of filling them, more freedom of action of the gamer in the game with each character, and finally more varied combos and more original combos for each character. These are the main changes that fans of Mortal Kombat 12 series are expecting, and we hope Nether Realm will act on them and listen to their gamers. From the gameplay we're also expecting more from the next version of Mortal Kombat. The return of Tag Mode, which last existed in the 9th edition, can be very welcome for fans. Since this game mode is a very fun and is not taken very seriously, it doesn't require much balance. Just as it's in the game and we can see four characters fighting in a battle, that's enough. Brutality should also be simpler as the 10th version. At MKX, it didn't take very difficult measures to run Brutality, and you could usually run them during your combos. In the 11th edition, however, the implementation of the Brutalities required some foolish actions that led many not to perform it and to give up its goodness. Brutality is also better available in Mortal Kombat 12. Really turning an opponent into a kid with their own character clothes is the best way to humiliate the opponent, and at the same time it's funny. More characters in launch time are one of the most important demands of fans. Nether Realm usually puts fewer characters than expected in launch time for its games, and the rest of the characters have to be bought or waited for the ultimate version. It's also better that these characters are more original characters in this series, rather than characters that are unclear what they have to do with Mortal Kombat's world. We hope the studio will reduce its greed a bit towards the series and put more characters in play for free. We reached the end of our expectations video of Mortal Kombat 12. Were your expectations also stated in cases? Share your comments with me.